Hi, Mr. Jordan. Hey, Mr. Moore, how are you doing? I'm fine. I thought I could hear something interesting in your background there, but... I think it was uh, a police car. Okay. I can't see you again, but I can see the board. And now we're doing this short video about castling. Ooh, exciting. Right. We mentioned it once in one of those games we played. It's a special move. Yeah. Bit unique. You can only do it once in the game. Yes. I reckon most... I don't know what you think. Most players who win a game, more often than not, they'll castle at some stage during their winning game. Yeah, it's a good little defensive move, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, we're, we're, what we're going to try and do in this video is explain how it works. Right. What should we start with? Um, can we start with the, the black pieces on our board at the moment? Yeah. So we're assuming at this point of the game, obviously there, there might be lots of other pieces on the board, but we've removed all the other pieces, haven't we? Yeah, for now. Just to make life easy. Now, assuming there's nothing in between the king and the rook as well. So, yeah, f8 and, and gh is empty. Then we can do a special little manoeuvre, can't we? Yeah, OK. So let's just pick up on that while you said it. If that knight was still there... Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't, do it. couldn't pull this move off, no. Okay, so we're, we're it's empty in between them. Yeah. So explain how to do the move then. So, well, you might, just in case I get something wrong here, but I'm, what we do is we're going to swap, um, well, both, both pieces are going to move. Basically, the king is going to move to G8, is that right? Yes, it moves two squares. To the right. And then the castle is basically, the rook, sorry, is going to jump over to f8. That's it. The king moves two squares towards the rook and the rook jumps over it, yeah. What, um, why is that beneficial, sir? Yeah, exactly. We There's two things. It's like two two things in one, isn't it? The king has gone to a, a safe place. You said it's a good defensive move. Yeah. The king's safely tucked away now in the corner. So that's the first good thing the second good thing is the king was the the rook was stuck in the corner before couldn't get anywhere yeah but now the rooks come out and it's about to get involved in the game and starting to attack so it does two good things in one can you set something up for me to visualize it sir can you put them back to where they started yeah and if you put can you put three pawns uh in front on h7 g7 and f7 yeah those three Yes, please, sir. So this could be a situation that we've got ourselves into, and maybe one of the pawns has moved or something, but if we imagine it's like that, we can see in this situation that the king is kind of a bit open to the world, isn't he? Yeah. And the rook is locked in. The rook can't yeah. do anything. So yeah. this might make that move make more sense, mightn't it? Yes, good point. So the king goes there, which is safer. Yeah. The rook jumps over, and now it can, very soon it can get out and start. Yeah, and we can see that the king is he's nestled behind those pawns and he's kept yeah. a bit secure, isn't he? Yeah. So, so that is the, that's how to do the castle move. Um, while we're talking about it, so looking at the white ones here. Yeah. I think most often it's a it's a short castle to this side on yes. the king side, but you can do the same thing the other way. So again, no pieces in between. King moves two towards the rook, rook jumps over it, and that's called castling on the queen side. Okay. So that's not as common, but it does happen. All right. Nice. So can we just explain to the children when you can't castle? So you've already said there can't be anything in between. There's some other times you can't castle. Like, for example, now, do you, uh, know, do you know why... Black well, pawns. he's in he's in check, isn't he? So we can't use a castle to get out of check. No. So if something's attacking, basically any of these four squares, even if the knight was there attacking that rook, they cut you can't castle. Yeah. Even if what else? Say this bishop was move that out of the way. If this bishop attacking that square, you can't castle. If any yeah. of these four squares are under attack, you can't castle. Yeah. 
What about sir? If the king or the rook had moved a bit, could I still put them back into position and castle them? That's a great question, and the answer is is no. Right. So what you're saying is they're in their starting positions, but if the king had just gone there and then gone back, yeah, and they castle, and the answer is no. Once once they had moved, that's the end of their chance to castle. Brilliant. Great. I think we've covered everything there. Yeah, that looks really good. I, I like that move. So that's something that's going to keep me safe and defended. And uh, it's a bit of an unusual move too, isn't it? So I guess, yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's a one-off and it, it gets your rook out of that corner in a really quick way. Great. We've covered castling. Fantastic. Thanks, Mr. Jordan. Thank Maybe you so much. Get, I'll see you. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully we'll see you soon. Brilliant. I can't wait. Maybe get some more videos going at some point too. Great. Thank Bye, you. Bye, Mr. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Okay.